Hi, my name is Bethany Eiser. I am president of the Cures Foundation, comprehensive understanding via research and education into schizophrenia. I am here today with Dr. Henry Nasrallah, who is professor and chairman of the Department of Psychiatry at St. Louis University. And today we're going to talk about tardive dyskinesia, also called TD. Tardive dyskinesia affects over 500,000 people in the United States. It is a side effect of antipsychotic medications. So let's get started. Dr. Nasrallah, what is TD and what causes it? Yeah, thyroid dyskinesia, or TD, uh, has been known for over 50 years to be a side effect, a long-term side effect, uh, of uh, antipsychotic medications. Uh, because all antipsychotic medications block dopamine receptors. It's a kind of neurotransmitter in the brain that blocking the dopamine receptors help reduce psychosis. So it's good when we give antipsychotics to block those receptors to get rid of psychosis, but unfortunately, over time, uh, then the patients develop movement disorders that we call tardive dyskinesia, late onset. That's what tardive means. And those movements uh, can be pretty uh, embarrassing to the patient because they're un involuntary and they affect different parts of the body. What are the symptoms of tardive dyskinesia? Well, the symptoms of thyroid dyskinesia, as I said, are movement disorders, uh, and they are random, involuntary, and uh, haphazard. There's no rhyme and reason to it. They're not rhythmic, uh, and they basically, mostly, mostly, not always, affect the face, uh, especially the, the mouth, the lips, the tongue, the jaw, and the, uh, the eyes, sometimes the grimacing. So the patient is moving their mouth and jaw and tongue and, bear, and lips in various ways, and they, they can't control it. It just happens continuously. Sometimes the, the, the movement affects the, the, the neck, so they can move their neck or the, the shoulders. But whether it's in the face and mouth and tongue or eyes and grimacing, or whether it's in the body and swaying of the body, etc., it's, it's very embarrassing to the patient. Uh, they become very self-conscious. They stop going out. Some of them stop working because they think people are looking at them, and, and they do. People look at them, like, why is this person moving uh, nonstop? And so it causes a, 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 a detrimental effect on the quality of their life. Wow. Uh, they lock themselves in, indoors, and they don't go out. And unfortunately, like for, ye for decades, we had no treatment for TD, none. Mm. So, so many people suffered from that. And they couldn't stop the, 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 the antipsychotic. If they stop right. the antipsychotic, their psychosis comes back. Right. So we, are, we were stuck between devil and deep blue sea, so to speak. Uh, rock and a hard place. If you can't stop them, they cause TD, and if you stop them, you get the psychosis back. So it was no choice. Stopping them or mm -hmm. reducing the dose does not really uh, provide an option. How are the movements of tardive dyskinesia different from other involuntary movements caused by antipsychotic medication? Yeah, that's a good question. Because whenever you, you start a patient uh, who has schizophrenia or bipolar disorder or sometimes depression, a lot of patients are receiving those medications. Uh, in the first few days or few weeks, they develop what we call extra side effects. These are undesirable side effects, but they're different than TD. They tend to affect uh, uh, the, the, the whole body, uh, and it, there are several types. There's one, one that we call dystonia which is extreme stiffness, rigidity of the neck and eyes and, 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 and the head turns to one and becomes fixed and very painful to the patient. That can happen within a day or two of starting an antipsychotic. Fortunately, not that common, but some people are more susceptible to it. Then you have uh, what we call akathisia, which is restlessness. They can't sit still. They keep pacing back and forth. Very uncomfortable feeling. And then after a few weeks of dopamine antagonists, those antipsychotics, some patients will develop Parkinson disease-like symptoms. So they become stiff, and they walk without swinging their arms, and their face looks like flat, and, and their, their, their steps are, are short, and their body is rigid, so it's rigidity. Uh, so those we call extra pyramidal side effects, and they occur in the first few days to few weeks of antipsychotic therapy. In mm -hmm. contrast, TD, tardive dyskinesia, occurs many months and very often many years after 
long-term use of antipsychotics.